Good morning, this is Frank with the Morning Quick Shot, brought to you by Trade Stockers and Ninja Pro Trader Indicators. It's the 17th of March, and we got some key reports this morning right away. We got 7.30 weekly jobless claims. We've got the uh, Fed Philly News Survey at 7.30. We have jolts at 9, along with some leading economic indicators and natural gas there at 9.30. Let's take a look at what happened last night after the big rally. Uh, first of all, oil is uh, closed above that $40 barrel for the first time since early December. We'll see how that affects the market today to see if we're going to trade in step with it. It looks like the market opened up last night around 2017 and just continued to move up from yesterday's rally after the FOMC news to 2027.50, where we just decided to uh, move right on down. Apparently, some of that news is dovish. And they're just now reacting to it. It's to uh, our overnight low of 2005.75. We closed below the red dash zone, below this zone here. So this is our pre-market support at the 205.75 area. We worked our way back up to the next zone at the 212, between 212 and 214. So we want to be cautious here. We also have a little bit of support and resistance from right here. We came right back through it. And we have the red dash to go back through. So let's look at the move to the bottom side first. If this holds right here at this zone and retrade right back down, we'll probably look for a double bottom here, and we should get a decent bounce and take us right back up into this zone. Now at this zone, we're probably going to get some consolidation, expects especially um, you know till market opens. Then we might move up into this uh, red dash zone here at 2.2017.50, and then fall right back down again. And hopefully we get the bounce off the zone at around the 213 area. But in the meantime, it looks like we might fail here. We just don't know yet. This is just consolidation. There's nothing nothing big here. Could consolidate down to here, like we said, for a double bottom. Come back up here, retest here. And then eventually, after the consolidation, move down to the next, next zone. Move down into this uh, 1997, all the way down to 1995 area. We need to be cautious in this whole area here because we do have a red dash DTZ at uh, 1991.25. Oops, bring this back up here for you. Looks like if we could come here, hit this DTZ, which is more like the good place to get a bounce and then retrace and uh, right back up today. However, if it is true down, we'll probably come back up and retest this uh, red dash at 1991 and then down into this zone 1984 and we could go all the way down to the 76 area for the low of the day we do have other targets to the downside but there's a lot to go through to get there very unlikely we're going to get all the way down there this morning so as it comes back up just be cautious of beating this zone also because of the resistance and support we're going to get in this area for this consolidation area here possibly as well so as it comes back up here look for a retest and this 2015 to 2017 area, again, big area for consolidation. The best thing to do, if it, if it turns around in this move from 209 to all the way back up here to the 2027 area, uh, is to just stay out of the trades. Let it, it's going to bounce around in here. It's going to consolidate. Just wait till it clears the 2023.50 to get our double top. We, we pull back into this zone, probably pulling back all the way to the 218 to uh, the 2020 area. So pull back into here, then go long. First target would be the double top again at 2027, up into the 2030, and then target scope into the 2040. Likely a top today, but we could go up into the 2050 areas, depending on what the market wants to do. And we don't know what it's going to do. So now we have our plans to go down, consolidate, and then our moves to the up. If you have any questions, give Frank a call at tradestockers.com and have a great day.